but we have to try this. It's absolutely, wow. That's pretty, pretty good. I gotta say, boom, some sort of combination of the synthetic and the biological. And it's absolutely nuts. Gemini 3 has been rolled out. We knew it was going to be a big deal, but I don't think we anticipated how big of a deal this thing would end up being. It seems like the entire world is a vibe coding with Gemini 3 and people are blown away. It's like Gemini 3 is this black hole just sucking in everyone's attention. If you're wondering why I'm showing you this thing, this was coded up by, you guessed it, Gemini 3. Or what about if we take Doom, but instead of a space marine, we get some sort of an HR floor inspector corporate thing. Can it do that? Yes, it can. Turnips are hostile, apparently. Beautiful 3D scenes just from a static image. Yes, it can do that and it can do it very well. 3D Lego editor, yes. Minecraft Hippo Zoo, yes. Your very own personal Jarvis-like assistant, yes. Pac-Man, but on a small 3D world, yes. Yes, we can do that too. But this one, I think it was, to me at least, probably the most touching one. So this is Demis Hassabis. He's saying, for example, I've been doing a bunch of late night vibe coding with Gemini 3 in Google AI Studio, and it's so much fun. I recreated a test bed of my game, a theme park that I programmed in the 90s in a matter of hours. And he created this all down to letting players adjust the amount of salt on the chips. Fans of the game will understand the reference. He was actually behind a lot of really cool games in the 90s. That's how he started out. Once AGI gets here, I think everyone should thank gamers for their effort in getting this beautiful technology here. We supported the, the GPUs, NVIDIA chips. Some of our greatest AI minds started out developing games. So you're welcome, world. So let's take a look at some of the things that, that people have been building with Gemini 3 because it's been absolutely insane. It gave me some new ideas for benchmarks and tests. Can you guess what this is? So it's a 3D objects flowing in a space. What are we looking at right now? Can you tell? So the person does not explain it anywhere, but I believe this is, so Nano GPT is that thing that Andre Karpathy created. I think it's open source, it's on GitHub, and it's sort of a very small, large language model that you're able to train yourself at home in a few hours on a consumer grade hardware. Is it gonna be as smart as Gemini 3? Probably not. But it will answer your prompts, it will answer your questions, sometimes not correctly, but it'll take a stab at it. And this is, I'm guessing, some sort of 3D representation of it. So we have the embed, we have the various blocks representing the different layers of the model. I would have loved to see the prompt because I'm curious how deep it went. Is it actually using nano GPT, kind of that technology, that entire open source code to create this, or is this just a graphical representation? Either way, phenomenal job. Somebody created, of course, the Rubik's Cube, but what they did is they said, make me a spinning Rubik's Cube in 3GS with a dark background, add exquisite amounts of realism and detail. And like I say, as I'm looking at it, it looks very exquisitely realistic and detailed. And also it looks like maybe it was used somewhere else by somebody else. So I stepped into a bit of internet drama here. I'll slowly back out. Here's Ethan Malik. He's got a terrific take. He's saying, hey, Gemini 3. So I need Doom, but more root vegetables. Also, no guns or demons or, or Mars. More of a focus on different flooring styles, but otherwise exactly the same as Doom. Gemini comes up with, here's a floor. First person, lino observation and ornamental review. Pretty good. Or is it lino, like linoleum? I, I'm not sure. But either way, absolutely terrific. And uh, notice. Critical containment failure warning. Turnips are hostile. By the way, he's got a link so you can literally play it yourself. I mean, this is absolutely terrific. Great 3D spaces. Oh, oh, personal space. Okay, so if they get up in your grill, there's a no notification telling you personal space. But I really do want to for a second highlight this thing because this, this is special. So shout out to Sohan who created this. So this was made by Gemini 3 black hole, a space odyssey. Let's click begin and see where it takes us. This is kind of a representation slash tutorial scientific visualization of what happens when you're approaching the black hole. 
notice it's assimilating what happens to light as it kind of warps around it. it tells you about all the names of the different things that happen i'll leave a link if you want to check this out it's even got some quizzes here that you have to pass you gotta pass the wisdom test in order to proceed down the black hole doppler effects etc etc so basically it walks you through the entire thing and then if you pass the wisdom test if you pass the quiz it's pretty easy you get to enter free roam and in free roam you're able to just look around at this beautiful animation that was created and it's absolutely absolutely insane they even have some pretty stunning music All right, next up, we have a vibe of the coded game, kind of like Pac-Man, but on a small 3D planet. And it looks like it even has uh, some uh, Sonic-like rings. Uh, so you're running around the planet, getting chased by stuff. This is uh, looking absolutely incredible. If you ever want to feel like a Tony Stark, you got uh, this thing, some sort of a Jarvis-like interface that you're able to use. These are getting a lot more advanced. The stuff that Gemini 3 can do is definitely more advanced than we've had before. I've tried creating this with some of the previous models, and they did have a hard time with it. Here's one that genuinely surprised me. So this is a mini city voxel destruction game. The reason it surprised me is because this is the first time I think I saw it creating something with a destructible environment. So as the little fireballs or missiles, by the way, there's, there's, there's like a sound to it. There's sound effects, not great ones, but as you're bombarding the buildings, notice the environment, there's this destruction in the environment. Like there's chunks being blown off of the buildings. I mean, the frame rate drops quite precipitously <laughs> when there's a lot of stuff blow blowing up, but I was, I was really surprised to see it. Like, let me play this part for you. So when you see the frame rates drop, that's not uh, streaming. That's not me streaming. That's, you know, the game uh, lagging. But man, here's uh, that actual game. I mean, that's absolutely beautiful. So you're able to shoot and see this uh, destruction kind of in real time. The controls are really good. The, the stars, everything else. I mean, this is highly, highly, highly impressive. I got to say, wow. I mean, I can, I think, safely say that nothing like this has been seen before. I just realized that you're able to switch through weapons. There's a number of different weapons. Oh my God. Wow. This, this is like a full blown game. Weapon number four, if you're wondering, is a singularity, a gravitational collapse event. I mean, I think you and I both know we have to try this, right? I, I understand we're doing a video about Gemini 3, but we have to try this. It's absolutely, wow. That's pretty, pretty good. I gotta say, boom. And number five is a tactical nuke. Interestingly enough, it's after the singularity, but I guess whatever goes, wow, that actually, that took out a lot of stuff. I think I can safely say that no other model would be able to create something of this complexity. I don't know. I think Ben here might have just won the vibe coding game with a Gemini 3 game. I'm tempted to give this the number one prize. Although, just as I say that, I see this. This is Gemini 3's visual experience, although I have no idea what to even describe this as. There's a, some sort of a divide between the biological lucid dreaming and the synthetic latent processes, and you got kind of like the, the latent space, the liminal space in between. So you can use the mouse to put those two together and visualize this thing as some sort of combination of the synthetic and the biological and it's absolutely nuts. Here's the prompt to design a visual artistic masterpiece about the similarities and differences of human lucid dreaming versus your inner dreaming that you feel or assume in a single complete exhaustive HTML code block that I paste into Chrome. Go full creative and ambitious, and it certainly did. Jimmy Apples is impressed. In other news, Gemini 3 Pro is the first LM to beat professional human players at GeoGuessr. So that means that every image, every photo of yourself in various places that you went to, that you've posted online in the last year or decade plus, now somebody can take that and have these models figure out exactly where you were. This one got kind of a deep. So Gemini 3 DeepThink asked for one truly novel human insight, a warning you might not be able to sleep tonight. I was actually going to ask if this is maybe one of the red teamers, the trusted early testers that they got their hands on DeepThink. In the comments, he did correct saying this is not DeepThink that has not been rolled out yet, only to some early testers. So if you have it like that, good for you. The rest of us are still awaiting, but... 
What's one truly deep novel out of distribution and a mind blowing insight about humans that only few or none of us are aware of? And the insight is this, humans did not evolve to perceive objective reality. In fact, mathematical models of evolution suggest that natural selection actively drives organisms that perceive the truth towards extinction, favoring instead those that perceive a highly edited species specific user interface as strictly optimized for utility. Definitely a mind blowing concept, but yeah, if you think about it, we're kind of all evolved with what you can call a reinforcement learning RL, just like we do with these models. The objective of function is to survive and recreate and not necessarily to know the truth. You don't need to understand how everything works, including your body, how we breathe, how you keep the heart beating, etc. You just have this sort of uh, interface similar to an operating system like Windows that you just like interact through. It's not the reality. And here's the final sentence. We have never once experienced reality. We have only ever experienced the interface designed to hide it from us. And that's true. If you think about it, everything you see in front of you, that's not really there. Just a bunch of photons that are flying at you and you evolved some little protein I can pick up those photons hitting it and everything else is just kind of hallucinated by your brain. Next up from Ali K. Miller, she's saying, Gemini 3, are you freaking kidding me? She vibe coded a sign language reader, sign lingo live, where it uses your webcam. You throw up your signs and it sort of recognizes it and shows, wow, what, what the confidence level is. I mean, that's looking pretty good. Hey, you really fast before you go. Can you please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so? Maybe even hit the thumbs up button if you've liked the content. This channel gets a good number of views, but for some reason, the subscriber count is lower than other channels in the space with similar views. Am I just like the person you're seeing on the side? You got to keep it on the DL. Enough of that. Let's make this official. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I come out with my next video. Maybe even hit the notification bell if you're feeling especially generous. My name is Wes Roth and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.